Hey everyone, Brandon here with Galway Precision. Today we're going to go over the installation of our newest short stroke trigger, the IGUS, for the LC9S, CC9S series of pistols. This is another derivative of the original LC9 Solomon trigger. Uh, we've actually made it to where the pre-travel uh, fits nicely in the LC9S and eliminates about 20-25% depending on the tolerances of your pistol and the overall pull. Uh, your new trigger, your new IGUS will be the trigger and a new pin as the stock pin cannot be reused be due to its length. Um, I managed to lose the stock safety blade but we'll go over all that when we get to that part but as you can see this is a stock trigger out of an LC9S and the pin's much much longer so it would get in the way of the safety blade working the way we've designed it. Alright so tools you're going to need you're going to need your bench block, polymer and brass hammer, 1 8 inch punch, 2 millimeter punch, 1 16 inch punch, and a small flathead screwdriver. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll lock and clear. We are visually and physically empty, so we're ready to take the pistol apart. I like to take my 2 millimeter and push out the takedown pin in the LC9S. Just makes life easier. We don't need the slide. We'll set it off to the side. Take your bench block, flip it upside down to the flat part, and drive out our frame pins. All right, so we got that out. We can remove the chassis from the grip frame. We'll set it off to the side. Now, if you'll notice, my safety spring is missing. All right, so if your safety's in there nice and tight, don't go yanking on it because that spring likes to pop out and it's under a lot of tension, so it'll fly off. Uh, so what we want to do is if it's in there tight enough, it's not going to come out when you set it down, fine. If it's loose enough, you can pull it out without popping the spring. Just pull the safety straight up, set it off to the side. And take our walking block, or correction, our takedown uh, plate, set it over there. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the trigger bar off, set it off to the side. Now your stock trigger will be the same way. As you can see, you got a 1 16th, okay? And it doesn't matter which side you drive the pin out from on the stock trigger. So you'll remove the safety blade pin. And when you do, the safety blade, of course, on your stock one will come off the front you know, I have a little V-shaped spring. We're gonna put that stuff in our bag of goodies because we always save our stock parts in case we gotta send it in for warranty work. Excuse me. All right, so now we'll take our two millimeter and we'll press out the retaining pin. And we'll set all those goodies with our stock trigger. In case we ever have to send it in for warranty work, go ahead and push your pivot out, take your stock trigger, set it off to the side. All right, what you should be left with, nothing else comes out, okay? Don't pull the sear, don't pull any of that out. It's a real pain in the butt to get it back together, and honestly, you don't need to. So we're ready to put our agus in. Take our agus, put it in place. Take our pivot, go ahead and push it through. And grab our new pin and our trigger return spring. Now your trigger return spring, you want the... Uh, round wound right there that goes inside to be sitting flat so when you push it in your return arm should be sitting at about the four o'clock position go ahead and take your pin this is the tricky part you may need if you got fat fingers like me you gotta be a pair of needle nose if you need them usually i don't but sometimes i do and drop your pin in you'll take your one eighth inch punch go ahead and press it all the way home I'm going to move everything around, make sure that the pin's seated all the way. Push our blade in and make sure that it goes all the way forward. Okay. You can see it stops. Okay. With the blade in, see you got that stop. And then when you let the blade in, it goes that couple thousands forward. That's your safety there. So it's very important to check that. Next, we're going to put our trigger bar back in. Now wind our trigger return spring back and make sure it sits in the groove right here in the bottom of the bar. I'm going to go ahead and put our safety back on. Take our locking plate, put it on. I'm ready to put everything back into the chassis now. Go in trigger first. Holding on to the takedown plate. Alright, everything's seated. 
You go ahead and put your frame pins back in. Use the polymer hammer or polymer side of your hammer. All right. Ready to put our slide back on and function test. Once you have your tape down and everything put back together, we're going to go ahead and function test. Go ahead and rack it. Place the weapon on safe. Try and pull the trigger. Striker should not fall. Take the weapon off safe. Grab without touching the trigger blade. Oh. This is harder to pull off than it sounds. All right. There you go. Striker should not fall. Now we're going to depress the safety blade. Pull the trigger. Striker falls. We're gonna rack. Release. There's our pre-travel and it stops. So once you get your reset click, that pre-travel stop kicks in about two thousands after that, and that's it. It's all the pre-travel you have now. So we've eliminated a good 20-25% out of the uh, travel. And gets rid of the trigger bite that is associated with the stock trigger on these things because of the way the curvature was and how thin it is through here to make room for the safety blade and the fact that the safety blade kind of floated in the stock trigger that's where you're getting that real bad uh, finger bite from that these things are prone to and that's it guys we've installed the igus in the lc9s ec9s uh, series of pistols uh, makes for a much better trigger pull you got the flat face, you got the 25% reduction, and uh, honestly, it just feels better on the finger. And that's going to wrap this one up. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email me at tech, that's Tango Echo Charlie Hotel at GallowayPrecision.com. Be sure to follow us on social media here on YouTube. Like, comment, and subscribe below. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, GunStreamer, and Video. As always, be safe, be accurate, and God bless.